Hello and welcome, I'm James Arnold Taylor, and it's time to look at the world of Star Wars from a certain point of view, yes. This is the Star Wars debate show you're looking for, where we discuss the light and dark sides of controversial issues from that galaxy far, far away. Here's how it works. Our guests get 60 seconds to debate our topics, whether it's light or dark, that's up to you to decide. So let's meet our guest. Here he is once again, the man, the myth, the writer, producer, JC Reifenberg. How are you? Good to see you, sir. Doing well. All right, good stuff thanks for today. being here. This one, uh, you know, you gotta be careful. You know why? He's the chosen one. Yes, the voice of Anakin Skywalker, star of film and television. Matt Lanter is here with us again. Thank you, sir. Thank you for having me. I love Plum uh, coming to play. Oh, it's, it's great. It's always good, and I think we're going to have some good stuff here yeah, because yeah. we've got a pretty good one here. This is a topic we have saved okay. for just the right guests mm -hmm. as yourselves. And we are the right We're the right You're guests. the chosen wow, guest. That's, that's, <laughs> that's fantastic. Yes. So here it is. Question number one. Star Wars EU versus canon. Ooh. Okay. Well, okay. where do we stand? 60 seconds. Mm. Who wants to start? I'm, I'm for the EU. Okay. I think that you have, uh, fans have creative license to do what they want. Star Wars is so much bigger than just these six films now. This is what keeps creativity going. This is what uh, spawns new stories, new ideas. And this is here's been very the, powerful and very, uh, very uh, influential in the world of Star you, Wars. But so. you're oversaturating it. Something that was so cool about Star Wars is, is you, you, you got this world and you could explore this little world in your own imagination. And now it's just like there's a story written for everything. I can pick up a coloring book to learn how Chewbacca cuts his hair. I don't need to know. <laughs> but that. how many more fans of Star Wars now do we have because they have found an EU book and they've kept that that fandom going in between films? It brought them into the but, world of Star Wars. Doesn't yeah. it, I mean, doesn't it uh, dilute it to the point that it's that it's a commodity now? Not if the, not if the storytelling is, is really doing and, something and moving the characters And isn't it like a forward? minefield? You know, if you have to, uh, if this canon has to adhere to these EU books, it's just like, how how does how do we make Star Wars? I don't believe you have to adhere to, to EU, but it's there for creativity oh. and passion and fun. Ah, and he got the good last point. word. That last a good word. point. Yeah, pretty good point. Okay, he even agrees. Look yeah. at that. That's a good point. Okay, question number two then. Did Leia, ooh boy, did Leia do the right thing in protecting the rebellion in A New Hope when she gives up a planet? Mm, right. A yes. planet. Yeah. JC, let's start with you this time. All right, so I, I think she doesn't know that the Death Star can blow up a planet. Yeah. Right? Right. And so... Although they tell her that. But the thing is, well, they tell her, but the thing is, it's like, you are the princess of a planet. You have a responsibility it's to the people to of the planet. Up. And if you know that this Death Star can blow up a planet, and, oh, well, there's secret plans. Maybe we can, uh, maybe the secret plans, we can find a weakness. We don't know. We don't know. So I'm just going to let them blow up the planet, because why not? No, she did the right thing, because sometimes, as much as I hate to say this, in war, things happen. Listen, if she billions if, of people nah, die, if she if she gave up the base, yeah, the empire wins forever and ever. Amen. Yeah, well, it's a pair, it's yeah a, but that's her family one. loses. <laughs> yeah. She killed her own dad. She's like, Dad, we had a good relationship. I appreciate all you've did. done, but <laughs> yeah. they died a really instant death. But her, they real, never knew. Never and, felt and, pain. You know, the truth is, is her real dad was right there with her, wasn't he? <laughs> oh, yeah. Good so point. Only <laughs> she knew point. at the time. And look at this. I got the last word on that one. I love it. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, here we go. Last question. Lightning round. A little more fun. Okay, yeah, sure. A little more loose. We have fun. You guys don't have to disagree, although you may because that's who you are. Alive or dead? Boba Fett. What do you think? Alive or dead, man? In my head, he's in some Sarlacc pit hell where uh, the Mos Eisley uh, song is playing over and over and over and over again. Yeah. That's just up here, And just though, being you know, chewed whatever. for a thousand years, too. I mean, it seems a bit <laughs> of a stretch. I mean, I, I'm going to go on record. I don't like Boba Fett, people. Wow. I think he's a punk. He oh. died like a punk, and he's not as cool as people say. <laughs> as to quote fanboys in Kyle Newman's movie, uh, he has a jetpack. So did the Rocketeer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't even the crew is is getting a little uh, oh, Boba Fett, uh, okay. Boba Fett. Okay, well Oops, we've gotten their point of view. <laughs> Matt, you come back and join us again sometime. Absolutely. Okay, great. JC, you'll yeah, be man. here. Okay, it is now time for your point of view. <laughs> jetpack. Gotta get me a jetpack. I love the rocket here. <laughs>
The views expressed on a certain point of view are of our guests and not necessarily representative of the Comlink Channel, Unico Inc., Absolute Value Pictures, or their subsidiaries. A certain point of view and the Comlink Channel have no affiliation with Lucasfilm or Disney. All views and comments are for entertainment purposes only and should be enjoyed no matter what your point of view. Yeah, me, go!